there, welcome back guys. In this video, we're going to be going over some free video editing software. That's right, you have your DJI Avada drone, no matter which one it is, or maybe you have the Osmos Action. If you have the Osmos Action by default, you'll be steered towards the um, application that you can use for free to edit your software. Uh, there's also another one I'll uh, leave in the end of this description uh, down below uh, so you guys can see it. But uh, it's really nice, it's really robust. Me personally, I'd say uh, in the beginning, 50% of my videos were first edited on the um, mobile app. And then slowly things transitioned to the computer um, just for other reasons, but you don't need to have a super powerful machine to um, edit videos anymore. You can just send them to your phone um, from, from your drone, right? and then edit it from there. But let me just give you an idea, right, of some of the stuff you can do with the um, the mobile applications. So come, have a look. Cut. This thing calls for Instagram superstar. Ready on three, two, one. Action. Kind of neat, huh? But let me show you some of the editing processes that I, you know, you can go through to get something more elaborate, like editing a vacation or editing it doesn't like I said it doesn't always have to be drone footage for like the this video was the drone footage you just bring it in and then you just you know do whatever you want but let's say you have other footage from your, your, your whatever it doesn't matter uh, let me just show you it takes a little bit more time the longer the video is but you know shorter clips and you have to like splice away and decide which ones that you want but come have a look I'll show you okay so we're gonna show you how to edit your video footage with this free software from DJI okay so you, there'll be a link to the app in the description so you can download it. But for me, I already have it on my phone. It's a DJI Mimo. See that? Um, it's pretty robust. It's, there's a lot of options in here. Uh, you can create albums, home, but in the meantime, click here on editor. Okay. You have AI editor, new project. For me, you can click new project, but for me, I'm going to uh, go right here into an existing project so that you can see all the wonders. So basically, you know, it takes time to edit your footage. Um, and as you can see, what you would do is you just add them in. You have your little plus button there, find a clip, see a clip, and you add it, right? Once you add the clip, it drops in, right? And then when, once you put it in, you can take your fingers and then uh, on the screen to, to pinch it. And when you pinch it, you're shrinking it, okay? And then you have many different effects. What you do is you click right here, at the bottom on the effect button. See that? And so for here, I added the black and white effect, um, but there are many different effects. Like how do I add the black and white effect? Well, what you do is you delete it, right? And I'll click on effect, right? And then you click add effect. And then you have like, you scroll through the different effects inside of the menu, depending on how fast your phone is, right? will determine, you know, how fast these options load. But as you can see, and music was added a little bit later, but I wanted it to be black and white from there, from the moment in the elevator, to right about there. Um, everything in here, right? Just to just flow. Uh, so it was a nice little effect that we had there. Uh, but I'm just gonna delete that and then bring the other one back. And then we can... Play. And then when it, when it ends, it goes, you know, transitions into something else. See that? Kind of neat, huh? And then we just go here to other effects. Uh, and we have some underwater uh, Osmos action uh, camera coming coming up. And, um, you know, it's pretty much it. It does take a while to edit. You know, not any longer uh, than it takes one to edit footage in Final Cut. Uh, everything is there. And what I like about it, it doesn't take up a lot of space and there's not a lot of render time. Um, and then you have other effects here. Whoops, uh, just go back. I'll just click when you accidentally press something, just press the check mark and everything gets back to normal. Um, but let's say if I want to add music, you click on right here, music. And there, I already have music here, 
But if you want more, right, you click on the more and you have, you know, you can choose. Let's say I like this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use it, but you get the idea. And when you click use, see, it pops in there. And in my case, I have a different song. I chose this one because it was just more, um, you know, it, it, it looked like it, it, it just went well with the video experience. Um, and, you know, you have different transitions to choose from. You can choose an ending, like I chose this ending. And, um, you know, it's it's really intuitive if, once you get the, the hang of it. And it's great because it doesn't take up a lot of memory. And it's also great because it's free and you can transfer videos, right? The video footage from your drone to your phone and edit it as simple as one, two, three. Um, and that pretty much sums it up. Why don't I just um, play the video for you and you guys, you know, can decide for yourself whether this app is right for you um, and be on the lookout for another application coming up that's free. Uh, and that's, you can use it on your phone.
kind of neat, huh? You know, you can either like, um, just have fun with it, enjoy, and just know that it's free. There are no hidden charges. Um, you know, there's no, uh, there, there are some minimum re memory requirements, but it, it's amazing how the software so small can operate so powerful um, and be comparable to something that you would have on your machine. And the best part, I, what I like about these um, softwares, as you can see, I just used it recently, um, is that the render time, everything is real time. Sometimes on the computer, if it's not fast enough, uh, you got to wait for it to render and then you see the effect you're like no nah, i don't like it you pull it out and then you put something else in and then you still got to wait with, with these applications for your phone there's no wait. everything happens in real time there's also another application for your desktop computer that's a little more streamlined than final cut more affordable i'm going to go over that one uh in another video but um it works similar to the dji experience where uh, there's like no render time and everything just happens instantaneously when you add an effect um, even though I love Final Cut, um, you know, they're, the uh, newer applications are just more robust and can do more in less time. Anyway, that pretty much sums it up. I hope that this video helped you in better understanding the free applications you could use on your mobile device to edit your video. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. Or ideas for other videos. Remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.